Okay, enough about you, let's talk about me. I'm a new age woman. Every time someone asks my age, I give a new one. I'm a mother of two. One's my husband. I'm Puerto Rican and Italian, but I like to pretend I'm French. Cause I'm crazy. I love it, Cindy. You're all so cute. I could beat you up with an escargot fork, but I won't. Hello. My name is Pia. Rice Pia. I've never been to France, but I've had their dressing. I've never been to Germany, but I've had their measles. I've never been to Intercourse, Pennsylvania, but I faked it once. <laughs> Alamez and me, we're French. We have a sense of humor. We have to because we're French. How many Frenchmen does it take to screen a light bulb? Who needs light? Telling a joke again, never wanted to. What is she to do? Can't help it. I can't. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But you know what? Therapy is not for everyone. It's for people with money. When I was in therapy, oh no, not you, Nancy. When I was in therapy, I really felt for all the money I was paying that I should be leaving with something each time. So I stole her pens, <laughs> then her tissues, then her computer, but that was going too far. I couldn't go back again. And, and that, that's bad. You know what, let me tell you something else about me. It was not easy for me growing up Puerto Rican and Italian in New York City, never knowing at any given moment when I would have to chase myself out of my own neighborhood. I'm a jet, I'm a shark, I'm a jet, I'm a shark. Na 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 na. When I saw West Side Story, I said, oh my God, that stole my life, how did they know? My mother was from Mayaguez, Puerto Rico, land of hurricane, sugar cane, and don't complain, don't explain. She was bilingual. She could speak two languages at the same time. So when I was growing up, I had no idea what she was saying because she would turn to me and just go, listen, mira. No me da pena ahora. I don't have time for this girl. Do you what I'm saying? So don't. <laughs> She was a terrible cook, burnt everything. Now it's called Cajun, who knew? Candy <laughs> before her time. She had all these mom, Puerto Rican wisdom. She liked, used to do cliches, if you will, or glitches. <laughs> I she's the gonna, mira, I Listen to these glitches. It's going to save your life. The cork doesn't fall far from the bottle. <laughs> You got to take the bees with the honey. Every clown has a silver lining. Oh my head. All right, she didn't give me good advice about finding a husband. She said, Mira Nasi, a man is like a chew. Pick out a good one, break it in, and stay away from the cheap ones. They never last. So I married a Gucci loafer with a cushioned soul. Together we have a man child. His name is Michael. His Cherokee name is Runs with Scissors. I want to be there to answer his little boy questions. I'll never forget the first day he turned to me and goes, Mommy, where do babies come from? And I wanted to be absolutely honest. So I looked into his honest little eyes and I said, Honey, in your case, babies come from absolute vodka. <laughs> I didn't want him to be terribly misinformed like I was growing up. When I was little, I had really curly hair. My mom would brush it, and I'd go, ow, ow, and she goes, where John Levy? If you think that hurts, how do you expect to have a baby? <laughs> and until I read that little pink book, why 
why Jane can't go swimming today. I thought having your hair brushed had something to do with having a baby. So, with that in mind, I did a little research and I found this little known Irish reproduction ballad that explains it all. Uh, feel free to take notes if you want, okay? Everybody give me a hum. hum. There was a young sperm from the land of testes near the Isle of Scrotum <laughs> who like a million other lads swam around in boredom <laughs> a searching for that special lass who lay in a foreign land instead of to be wasted by the stroking of a hun a hun the stroking of a hun <laughs> One day a great excitement did rise, all the sperm swam upstream. But one special lad, he swam the fastest in search of his chromosome dream. He had only one X, she an X, and a Y to make a dream come true. So in he plunged the cervix, yeah, and up the uterus too, hoo -hoo, up the uterus too. <laughs> the river rose and he could tell that she was in the mood. A journey she did undertake down the fallopian tube. <laughs> Many had surrounded her, but only one would get in. So in he plunged with a manly grin, in he plunged with a manly grin. And that is how we all begin. That is how we begin. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. <laughs> you are the first chorus audience that ever did that for me. Yay! Yay for you!